Welcome. My name is Glenn Hughes, founder, CEO, and lead developer here at KaraokeWare, and I'll be your guide as we walk through the simple process of cataloging your existing karaoke files into the industry-leading Compios V3 karaoke hosting solution. We'll get started by selecting Song List and then Index Catalog Karaoke Files from the top main menu. Here we find that the dialog is divided into four simple steps. Selecting the source folder, selecting the applicable file naming template, selecting the karaoke file formats we wish cataloged, and lastly, the update action desired. We'll begin by selecting the parent drive and folder location of your karaoke files by clicking Select Source Folder. In cases whereby you have your karaoke song files further divided into separate subfolders, you'll most often wish to select the parent folder and direct CopyHost to catalog all of the subfolders by simply activating the Include Subfolders option. Moving on, we'll select the file naming template that best corresponds to the actual file names of our existing karaoke song files. But let's take a moment to discuss the significance of the file naming template and the actual file names they correspond to. Although some karaoke files are encoded to include the song title, artist name, and other information into the actual file itself, typically referred to as an ID3 tag, and fully supported by Compios V3, the overwhelming vast majority of karaoke files do not include this embedded information, and therefore we must resort to the more commonly used method of extracting the needed information from the individual file names themselves. To further illustrate, here we see a very typical karaoke file name. In fact, this format is considered by many to be an industry standard, but it's just that a standard, and not necessarily followed by everyone. If this standard were universally mandated, the process of reading and parsing out the needed information would be easy, but that's simply not reality. In fact, we've encountered literally hundreds of very different name formatting schemes. In this example, we see that this particular file name includes the original disk ID, the original track number, the artist name, and the song title. Compios V3, or any other application for that matter, will need to accurately extract these different parts of the file name in order to build a reliable and easily searchable song catalog. This is where the file naming template comes in. To reliably parse the file name and accurately extract the needed cataloging information, Compios V3 will need to reference a roadmap or in this case, a template that it may follow. Compios V3 will refer to this file naming template, identifying the different field positions and delimiting characters it should expect to find in each file name it comes across while scanning your files. Let's check out a template that corresponds to our example file name and explore its components. First, we find the single character D this signifies the disk ID. In the example below, SC8181. Next, we find a single dash. This is the first of three extremely important delimiters Compost will use to separate the different parts of the file name. Then comes the single character N. This signifies the original track number. In this example, the first track. Following the track, we encounter yet another of the very important delimiters, a space dash space. Again, be reminded that even the spaces are vitally significant. Next, the single character A, signifying the position of the artist's name, followed by the final delimiter, another space dash space, and finishing up with the single character T, signifying the expected position of the song title. Compios V3 offers a number of the more common file naming schemes we've run across, selectable via the drop-down selector. But what happens if no predefined file naming scheme matches your actual song files? 
Well, this is just one of the many ways Compio's V3 excels above the rest offering its users the unique ability to create their very own templates. By incorporating the various field tags, D for disk ID, N for track number, A for the artist name, and T for the song title, along with embedding the delimiters used in your file names, building an accurately corresponding template is easy. Simply select Custom from the drop-down selections, and type in your custom template in the box provided. And to help even further, we've added a file naming template design wizard you may utilize to help you select or create your custom templates. To do so, first ensure you have already selected your source folder in step one. Then click the link that reads, help me choose the correct template. The wizard is again divided into four easy steps. Select a sample file that best represents your file naming scheme. Enter the exact text of each file name component. Click to create your template. And finally, verify the template. As you see, I've preloaded a typical non-conforming file name. In this example, we see that although it does include the original disk ID, song title, and artist, it does not offer the track number nor does it incorporate standard delimiters. Instead, we find only a single space dividing the disk ID and song title, and then a single dash dividing the song title and artist name. Such delimiters are strongly discouraged for a number of reasons. Since these simple character sequences are often found within the actual song titles and artist names, resulting in the possibility of inaccurate and unreliable parsing of the file names. Understanding the risks, we'll move on by entering the different components of our sample file name. Remember, it's vitally important that you enter these components exactly as they are found in the file name itself. Please note that since the file name does not include the track number, we simply left it blank. Now we finish up by clicking the button below. And here it is, our custom template. As you see, it includes the single character D signifying the disk ID, a single space character separating the disk ID and song title, represented by the single character T, then a single dash followed by the single character A for the artist. After verifying the template, Simply click Finish. Returning to the File Indexing and Cataloging dialog, we'll continue on with selecting the file formats we wish to include while scanning and cataloging our files for instant playback within Compio's V3. Please be reminded that Compio's V3 supports playback of virtually all Audio Plus G formats, such as the popular MP3 Plus G, and WMA plus G, both compressed and uncompressed, in addition to both standard definition and high definition video karaoke formats growing in popularity today. Finally, we'll select our desired update action. Since this is the first time we'll be cataloging our files, the rebuild entire song list choice is pre-selected for us. However, if we add selections in the future, We'll wish to select Update Song List Only, therefore keeping all previously cataloged selections intact while only adding the new selections found during the scan. And now, we're ready to launch the automated process of scanning and cataloging our karaoke song files. We'll simply click the button. Well, the cataloging process has completed, but what do we have here? Unlike most of our competitors that simply ignore and disregard files that cannot be reliably parsed, Compio's V3 logs the errant files and provides them to you in a neatly formatted list. Not only do we list them, we tell you why. In this case, it's due to the fact that the file name did not correspond with our chosen file naming template. After carefully reviewing the errant file, 
we find that the expected space dash space delimiter between the track number and the artist name is missing and therefore does not correspond with our selected file naming template. Here's the corrected file name, one that would have cataloged successfully. So what can we do from here? Well, Copios V3 offers you a couple of choices. If you encounter only a few errant files, you may select them one by one from the list above, enter or select the correct cataloging components, and instantly catalog each errant file. Or, if you encounter a significant number of errant files, you might wish to simply separate and move the files to another folder, where you'll better be able to edit and correct the errant file names. And before we finish up, remember back when I mentioned ID3 tag support? Please remember that you may configure ID3 support along with several other advanced options by simply clicking the Advanced Options button found on the lower left of the dialog. This concludes this segment of the KaraokeWare instructional series. I hope it's been both helpful and informative, and invite you to review some of the other videos we've created to help you get the most out of your KaraokeWare product. Have a great day! And thank you for choosing KaraokeWare for all of your karaoke software needs.